Hello and welcome to the video. My name's Adam from All Streamed Up. And today we're going to talk about Wirecast and bringing in guests. Uh, the two different ways we'll touch on today are Skype, NDI, and Rendezvous. And some of the advantages and disadvantages of each method for bringing in guests into Wirecast. Now, every live stream setup is unique, so um, my setup might be different than yours. So all of the information might not be uh, relevant to you, but it should help you be able to bring in guests with greater ease and understand the technologies a little bit better. Now, my setup is I have my main computer here, which runs Wirecast, and that's where I do the stream from. But I also have another computer right here, which I use for Skype. The reason I use another computer is because all the resources for the Skype call are handled by the processor on this computer over here, which frees up this machine. Uh, it dedicates all the resources just for the stream. Now, um, the other advantage with that is that I have an audio board right here, and so I can run my Skype guests through this audio board, and my microphone is on another channel. This allows me to do a mix minus. Now, I won't be talking about what that is today. Most people with experience with audio boards probably know what that is, but it allows me to send certain sounds back to my Skype guest and not other sounds. And also, the Skype guest now has their very own fader on this audio board so I can adjust their levels uh, very quickly and easily and get it set just the way I want it um, to match all the other levels that are going to go through on the stream. So that's my setup. Now let's go ahead and uh, do a Skype call and then we'll talk about rendezvous. I prefer Skype because it gives me that advantage of being able to do an audio uh, levels and mix minus. Um, however, with Wirecast, versions before version 14, which I'm using today, um, had an issue with Skype because of the adaptive bit rate that Skype uses to change on the fly the video quality um, of the caller. Again, we won't talk about on the video, but they have fixed it in version 14, which is fantastic. Thank you to everyone at Telestream for uh, squashing that uh, bug, which was probably quite a challenge. So anyways, I got Skype over here. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a call and then I'll bring them in and you'll be able to see. So let's just go ahead and bring up my screen share. Okay. So now you can see there's my tele, te, uh, that is my Wirecast screen. So I'm going to go ahead and just call myself over on another uh, mobile device that I have. So I'm just gonna give, go ahead and give them a call. Should hear the audio coming in. Okay, now my call is connected over on this other computer and it's on mute. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring that call in. So you click add and then under network devices, you're gonna notice there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, so this, I think it's probably this one. There we go. Just going to go ahead and add that call. All right. So now you can see, I'll go ahead and, uh, hello, I'm waving at my, my camera over there. So now there's my Skype call. It's pretty easy. You just go ahead and uh, add a network shot. Now you can see there it is full screen. I've got a lovely light bulb on the ceiling and uh, a roll of, of uh, paper towels. So not that interesting of a shot, but that's it. That's how simple it is to bring in a Skype user on NDI. Now you can see it over here. It's in my master layers and um, I can just go ahead and bring it in full screen or, you know, like any other shot, I can scale it, you know, and um, if I wanted to say, for example, on this shot, I would add a, another video shot. 
So go to video capture and uh, bring in your main web camera or whatever it is that you're using and, you know, that kind of thing there. So have myself, you know, a very simple split set up with my webcam and a Skype NDI viewer. So it's actually that simple. Now, in order to enable um, NDI on Skype, you go to the settings um, under calling and then advanced. There will be a little toggle button for enabling NDI. Now, that's an amazing technology, which I really love that Wirecast um, has full support for. So uh, it works really great. Now, with my audio board, it allows me to adjust the levels and stuff. So this isn't really a lesson in audio normalization and stuff like that. But, you know, just test it first, get it set up in your show, and then you can go ahead and live stream. Um, and Skype's pretty cool because if you have multiple guests, each guest comes in as its own video shot. Now, that's the key um, at what Skype NDI does, okay? It brings in the callers as their very own video shot in your master layers. Um, it's not a screen capture or anything like that. It's just straight through network uh, distribution interface, NDI, and it works amazing, 14 version of Wirecast. Uh, it doesn't move around the boxes, so it's really great. Um, now let's talk about rendezvous because I've looked online and I haven't found that many great how-to videos for Wirecast rendezvous, but the technology works pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look at what how that works. Bring up my screen share again and under the menus you go to the window menu and you'll notice under here there's something called rendezvous dashboard. So you just go ahead and bring that up and you'll notice it's got its own little interface here. Now, it's a little, um, takes a bit of practice because you'll notice um, there's some things up here which you can send to your rendezvous guests, different um, audio sources. So um, I usually want my built-in line input because that's my, um, or it might be the USB codec. But... Like I said, every setup's different, so go ahead and try this out before you do a stream, and then uh, you'll get the hand of it. So just click on Start Session down here, and you're going to get a link, right? And then you go ahead and you provide this link to the person who you want to um, bring in. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to open up my Skype here for a second. Now I've got the, the link is copied to the clipboard. So I'm going to go in here, and you can't see my Skype, but, um, or actually you can't. I'm going to have to uh, block out the names and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and just put this Skype in there. All right. So the Skype, uh, the link has been sent on Skype to my friend, who I want to have in on as my guest. So now they got that. So on their computer, they're going to go ahead and just open that link. Now, they're going to see a little interface in their web browser, okay? And all they do is they can turn their camera and their mic off, and they just type in a name. And I'll just put uh, Adam. And I'm going to hit join. So the guest has now joined, okay? So I'm going to click OK on here. Go back to my rendezvous dashboard. Now, you're gonna notice there's a little uh, icon with a one down here. So that means that somebody's connected, okay? So just go ahead and move that out of the way. Go down here and you click your add, okay? Now, I believe it's also under, see here's, it's under network, a rendezvous session. Add Adam to rendezvous. So you click add. I'm going to go ahead and mute that. Sorry about that. Now I have a little bit of uh, double audio coming in here. So over here, I'm going to click mute on the rendezvous uh, browser window over here that your guest is going to use. Okay, you can see me over here now. There I am. All right, so that's, that's going to be your guest in rendezvous. 
and 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 they come in over here so uh, if you you can have up to eight i believe they're all going to be down here now you have a couple options here and stuff you can disconnect them you can mute their audio yourself if you want to and remember this is what you're sending them here okay so you might want the live output because that's going to give them the program window. So if you're rolling other material like videos or web browsers or stuff, they're going to see it as well. So if I look over here, I can see the screen of Wirecast on the browser over here. Okay. So now on this shot, I'm going to bring this up. Now you can see the Skype's got a question mark. I'm just going to go ahead, turn that off. So it's no longer visible, but it's still there. And I'm going to click add and I'm going to click a video source. Okay. So there's Adam. He's in the rendezvous session, just like you can see it over here. I'm going to add that source. Okay. So there it is on the preview window. And again, just going to scale it around. So I got myself a basic split, right? Now, that's actually it. It's also um, very simple. Now, the disadvantage here compared with Skype is I have no control whatsoever about um, the levels of audio of my guests or what audios I'm sending them other than through the rendezvous dashboard. And there's also a rendezvous audio mixer. Um, I have to admit that it's about to cause a crash and I don't have a lot of experience with the audio mixer, but you can see there's some, um, It'll probably be, oh, I don't see, I don't see the rendezvous caller at all. But I guess this is what I'm sending them back. So I do have some control over what I'm sending them back, but it's not as user friendly as just a simple audio board and the way I have my mix minus set up. So again, I use Skype because it gives me a little bit of extra uh, features, if you will, but at the same time, I need that other computer. Uh, so if you don't want to use Skype, if you don't have another machine, um, I would recommend Rendezvous because it's designed to not cause feedback in and you know into the stream and out to the viewers as well. And also, I'm getting a little bit of freezing on my webcam from Rendezvous. So. I've seen comments on the internet about rendezvous. A lot of users don't love it, but I've used it and it does work quite well. So if you have only one machine, I would recommend uh, using rendezvous. Uh, but I also completely recommend um, testing Skype and working with the NDI technology because it's fantastic, even if you don't have another machine. If you have another machine, offload your Skype to it and route it through to an audio board that's going to give you full functionality for mix and minus and um, audio level normalization across all your different sources um, so that's my tutorial on rendezvous it's very very easy it's just under the window menu uh, the rendezvous dashboard and then you give someone a link and they use their browser to join and they can use a mobile device or anything so it works pretty good um, as you saw it caused a little bit of freezing on my webcam you're going to have a different experience i'm sure it might not affect you at all um yep so leave your comments below if you have any questions about using skype ndi or rendezvous in wirecast thanks very much happy live streaming